Hi guys, here's Mark from the Erziger 68 in France. So, many people on my Lozi Baja, uh, Super, uh, Baja Super Ray uh, review means I have not drive the truck because the, drive the truck was before me in a good shape. But this is only because I clean absolutely totally the truck after using it and I drive it with uh, the, the stock plastic you become on it because it was not my truck and the game was to, to not uh, destroy the truck because the guy who sent me the truck for free uh, asked me to take care of it and this is absolutely normal but uh, be cool guys I drive the truck and I know what about I talk about the Super Baja Ray now we have here uh, another truck from Lozi because I love Lozi this is so I love Lozi this is also not my truck this is a truck from uh, a subscriber from the channel who sent me the truck for uh, an overhaul and uh, to put on the T-bone racing options in the sound box I love to drive this truck it's uh, amazing good how it feels on the ground to drive this truck even if in the beginning I I was not so happy with the suspension I find it too firm but he needs uh, such a firm um, suspension I did not make big jumps with it and I'm happy to do not uh, do it because I run it in a field two packs and I run it uh, in the woods and after 70 minutes in the woods I kill the front differential Many people claims uh, about uh, means that is the planetary pin who is too weak and breaks and this causes the diff destroyer but it is not of this pin. The cause of this pin, the cause of the destroying of the differential because Lozi made a failure about suspension travel and CVD angle. When you compress here the suspension you have here a bump stop because the CVD hits the output drive from the differential. That's bad because this bumper here can be pressed out here and in this case or in the other case you make a rollover when you make a rollover the tire hits the ground and the truck goes this way you will here put the suspension down and in these two case the CVD hits the bottom of the driver put and unlike on the Trax X Max, on the X Max, the output when you has such a hard landing on the side or something, the output will split. This is not a problem. You have a screw from the outside. Outside costs about twelve dollars. You can easy, quick on the field change the CVD output. On this one, you cannot. And what happens is that this output push the planetary together with the satellite in the differential. And this is why the differential is destroyed. You destroy all the tools from the differential in there. If this pin not break, if the pin break, it's not a problem. You just pay, break the pin. So, what I do here on this car. So, this is the stock differential. I use a LSD differential from the fr from the center here. I I buy the repair kit from the LSD center differential and put it in the front because on stock differential here you have these two axles who goes together. So to make a cross in the middle on the LSD differential here instead of the cross you have a square because one of the, the shaft here goes to the square what's cool with this square is that the diff output shaft is just before it it's mean when I have compression from the two side the I hope that the diff output do not can put the planetary on the satellite to destroy it but touch here in the middle and stop what's uh, still going to happen is clearly that uh, you bend still the CVDs but that's not a big issue it's super easy to re-bend uh, a CVD just put it on a, on a hard surface and give him something with the hammer on the head and you will see you have a straight CVD in a non-time 
the body, you like it or not, I personally not like it. But that's not a big problem, the truck is not much bigger than a Savage XL or other trucks, so you can have a many Proline or Parma, you can uh, take the Parma for XLT uh, body to put on it if you uh, prefer the old school monster truck style. It's my case. <laughs> uh, I'm happy with the new shock shaft because the old was always a problem. Um, I'm happy with the construction from the truck, with the fact that they uh, separate the alloy plate with a plastic part in the middle from the chassis, so you can have a flex here in the chassis when you make big jumps and not uh, destroy the chassis plate. This also sinks the cost from the repair if you destroy some parts of the chassis, like on the X-Max, that's really good. Uh, I put here the T-Bone front bumper because the stock bumper are too weak uh, not uh, strong enough for the weight from this car and way too close to the body on the front. And totally shame from Lozi is this uh, stock back wheelie bar. They made the same failure, thing, failure since 10 or 15 years and I don't understand why they do not do something better than this really shit wheelie bar. So we take here the T-bone wheelie bar. I from my opinion it's too big, it's too far away from the truck, I prefer something that goes a little bit here uh, nearer the body, um, make here a brighter bumper and the wheels put on the bumper, but this is only really just also uh, something depends on you, what you like or not. So the body is good. It's a tough body, because, but if you go raw, you will still destroy it. What I miss here is a roll bar in the truck. You have the room to put one, so you can do it yourself, it's not a problem. Use a nylon rod, two screws, two holes in the chassis, uh, use the heater and make you here a new form roll bar. You can put in, uh, make it so long that you just are on the roof with the bar, so you, if you roll over you really don't squeeze the body on hard landing. They do something super cool, the electronic is on one side, you have only two screws to put the electronic away, but that's the only thing they think, because they do uh, something strange on the rest. You have the on off button with, uh, on the chassis here, why not here? So you put the two screws off, you take the electronic apart, but even if this one was here, you cannot because of this plug system here. They put the cable under the gearbox and in the back chassis part. So if you want to put the electronic away, you think, oh cool, I put my two screws off and can go to clean my car. No, you have to unput four screws here and six screws to put the gearbox away to can free the wire. That's something stupid. I prefer shorter wire here, just goes out left and right. Maybe some little fixation here on the battery tray and the battery fixation, and this will be okay. This is too much. These are little complaint, it's not a problem, but it's uh, for the maintain of the truck, it will be super top. So Lozi, please think on it and change this one. Then the gearbox is uh, stock hot, has no grease in there because it's open. Between motor and gearbox you have such a hole, that means sand and old gravel can go in. Not much, it's a little space. I have only a little bit of sand in the gearbox, it's not a problem. And this is why, we, uh, why they not uh, put grease in there. The pinion are in really soft steel, that's also good because the, the, the transmission is really unnoisy. This is a really silent transmission, I love it. And this is why the subscriber wants a sound box and this is why I put him here sound box in with a super cool American V8 motor. Um, direction is okay, servo is 
good for from Rosie to put a big servo because you have no heat issue with such a big uh, servo. What's bad is this this servo is really the slowest servo I ever see on an RTR. Uh, it's s slower than on a Chinese uh, little uh, uncostly thing, but he do the job. So. The other thing is uh, such a big truck needs big lipos and the lipo trays are good but they could be better. Uh, if they do here these parts higher and something to put this one also higher you can put bigger battery in. Uh, if the truck were a little bit longer you can put all battery on the market in but it's okay to find something will go in but Personally, I think you can do easy uh, so an upgrade to uh, change this. You have only here to put a screw on the top because you have here this one. So you can put this one in the screw, make this one higher, and so you can put a higher battery in without any problem. Personally, I think this car needs a 1400 kV motor and an ADS system. Not for go faster, to go at the same speed, to have the same power, but with 1400 kV here and ADES, you will only have an amp draw about 80 amps, and with 80 amps you can use every cheap battery you want without having any problem with the battery. You have no uh, heat issue with the motor or something, because the truck is he heavy, but they do a success. Uh, for two reasons. First, if they put an ADS uh, system in, it's more costful for them, so the truck will be uh, much, uh, you have much dollars to spend to buy the truck, and you have to buy uh, battery who are uh, much higher a cost at 3S. But what's uh, in the RC world a little bit strange is that competition you drive two, se two cells, four cells. That means you can find top two cells battery, top four cells battery. Now they begin to make a better six cells battery, but uh, in the most case not with many milliamps. Uh, so in 3S you have not uh, many choice of good batteries, and this is why I think this truck can be driving ADS because in ADS you find super good batteries with top prices. You find 8000 milliamps battery, 100C with high voltage for not a big price. And look at this one, Tuck. it fits without any problem. The only thing is the highness of the battery. If uh, the battery tray was a little bit higher or fixed with Velcro straps, you can also put uh, two 6S in in parallel to have uh, less amp draw on each battery because this car really sucks on the battery drive when we drive hard and this is something you know me if you not, don't know me uh, look at my channel you will see I put high voltage combo in my trucks not for go faster but to run cooler to have a cooler life for the, a longer life for the, my batteries a longer and cooler life for my motor have cool run times and this is what I like so I'm happy with this truck he has uh, a big issue with this differential so if you want to buy one take it but take care do not make a two row bash or two big jumps like we do with or until you're not like Traxxas I can understand this but uh, keep in mind the XMX is a beast the Sen GSTE uh, is a beast. The Team Magic, or uh, in you by you in USA, it's the Red Cat Racing TR8 TB6ES uh, uh, is a super truck. The Obawa Hyper MT Sport Plus is a super truck. Uh, this one is not so tough than these three, but it's a really cool machine to drive, like the Team S Arrival. The Team S Arrival is a bad truck. Uh, about running a long time and row. The Team Asso Rival is a top truck on a track, but I never drive a monster truck on a track. But it's really, really good to drive. He jumps really well, but he's really not tough. This one is tougher. He drives also good than the Team Magic Asso Rival, but he's not so tough than the Armor Nero, the Zen GSTE, the Hobart Hyper MT, and the Team Magic B6S. 
So, if you drive one, tell me what happens to you, what you uh, do for stop the problem. Uh, if you are bored with the problem, uh, and don't forget to mail Losi if you have one, and also if you not have one. I please you all to mail Losi to ask them to do CVDs because if Hot Racing or GPM or Losi made us telescopical CVDs, uh, the problem with the differential will be solved super easy. But we need four other drive shafts uh, with telescopic like GPM make or Hot Racing uh, because with the telescopic system you will no more have problem with the CVD hit in the output shafts because this is only the real big problem from this truck all rest is just little bit stuff little stuff you can adjust uh, at you like you can change bumper you can make a, a, a roll bar you can change the uh, the plug system you can change the battery fixation system you can uh, even now you can change the motor because Lozi released uh, an optional system to put uh, each of a normal motor in the truck so you can put another motor in without any problem you can put a Leopard 1400 kV 8S motor in 47 can put a Maxi CSC, it's not much bigger than this one and have longer fun with the truck so I'm happy to see any comment of you if it's good, if it's bad, uh, it's no matter I read every comment I try to do every time my best to answer every comment and I'm open to all critics because all it's good to take to make the channel better, to make our RC better. Uh, the major point is to have fun all together. Bye guys, have a nice day.